out of the mouths of babes. Why am I standing here looking dazed, you ask? I'll tell you. It played out right here in the park. If you'd been here just two minutes ago, you'd have seen it yourself. Do you see those three kids playing with the black and white puppy? They can be barely three, not yet four, don't you think? The pup belongs to the girl in the red shorts. They were running around laughing and chasing it just as they are now but closer to this side and the pup unexpectedly ran into that little clump of a bush and got entangled. Yes, I know it doesn't look like much of a problem but if you're three feet high like those tykes, it's probably quite tough. The mother was there, the weeping one being consoled by the other two. She wasn't weeping then, of course. They were chatting and hadn't noticed the pup problem. The kids were all on their knees in front of the bush peering helplessly through the tangles and calling to the pup who was whining and squirming but quite stuck, poor thing. I was about to go over and offer to extricate it when the one in the red shorts got off her knees and scanned the park. The next moment, she took off, running towards a single man, shouting, Uncle! Uncle! The fellow was surprised but slowed down and checked around to confirm it was indeed himself the child was running to. He hunkered down to listen to her and with much gesticulating and pointing, she explained the problem, then caught his hand and pulled him towards the pup. I was wary, but he was, after all, equally a stranger to the child as I was and I'd been intending to step in and help, so who was I to judge? By this time, the mums had caught up with the events and the kid's mum was calling to her in an admonishing tone. So as the child led the young man to the bush and he bent over to lift the pup out, mum grabbed little red shorts and hugged her tight. One or two of us passers-by were watching the proceedings too. And of course, those other two mums, each holding tight onto her kid also now. The child had run up to someone who was evidently a stranger, which surely she must often have been told never to do. The mothers had been distracted. How easily it could have gone wrong. Though it hadn't, thank heaven. But still, it felt like a close shave. As soon as the pup was pulled out, the kiddie wriggled out of her mother's grip and the pup was ceremoniously handed over to her by its saviour. She grabbed it and cuddled it and cooed into its small face that it was a naughty dog. But see, this kind uncle had saved it. Mum lunged for them both and holding them safely, prodded the child to thank the kind uncle, which was promptly and enthusiastically done. Then she asked her the question we'd all been pondering. Why did you run to this uncle and not ask me to help you? You know you're not supposed to talk to strangers. Glancing apologetically up at the gallant gent and receiving a rapid nod of understanding in response. But Mama, the child said, he's not a stranger. Didn't you see? He walks just like Papa used to. So he's our army uncle. Stepping out of her stunned mother's embrace, she turned smartly to the young man and saluted him. The youngster was evidently equally stunned but saluted back. Then bowing his head briefly and muttering, Ma'am, at the mother, clicked his heels, turned and walked away. Needless to say, all of us stared after him. And now that the child had pointed it out, the military bearing was unmistakable. The little friends ran off to play with the pup in a different direction, away from the dangerous pup-swallowing bush. The mother melted into tears and as you can see, her friends have been consoling her. The two or three of us who'd witnessed the episode were left standing awkwardly, 
pensive and emotional and deeply affected. Not just by the tragic loss this young family has evidently been through, but also wondering how much kids witness and understand that we have no knowledge of and can never cushion them from. I've never spent a moment in my life thinking on such a subject, I'm sure you know. But I tell you honestly, for the present, I'm quite overwhelmed. <laughs>